guys. Oh, oh, she fell down. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead. We're going this way, baby. Other side. And I've got Rebecca with me. We're starting a new project, aren't we? Let's see, where's she at? Where's she at? There she is. Say hi. Tell everybody hi. Yes, we're going to go help. Do you hear those cows? Do you hear the cows? <laughs> Are they toothy cows, she says. So, no, they're nice cows. Those are the neighbor's cows. Okay, we're going to head over here to a raised bed that... Jimmy's cows? No, those aren't Jimmy's cows. What is it? Huh? That's the neighbor's cows. Okay, we are coming over to a raised bed that was abandoned this year. And we let it grow into a weedy mess. Oh, guys, it's bad. It's really bad. And we are going to start cleaning it up because we want to plant garlic in this. And then we Duffy. Hmm? What Duffy? What? I don't understand. The Duffy. So, and Rebecca's going to help me. And we're going to get going on this. Sarah is inside. She's canning chicken. And she pressure canning chicken. And she's got butter going in the KitchenAid mixer. So she's busy inside, and we're going to get busy outside. So here we go. Okay, Rebecca went to go play on the swings with Anna for a little bit. So I'm going to get going on this. These are some homemade cages that Sean made years and years ago. They're starting to get brittle but they work to keep the chickens out back whenever we had strawberries planted in this and years ago when we had garlic planted in this. So I need to remove these cages, probably just one by one, and start doing a thorough weeding on this mess. And uh, then we'll get some good uh, compost on here with some daisy fertilizer added in and get it all pretty and uh good for garlic so i'm going to try to do this and film at the same time which is going to be tricky but we'll get started i'm going to try to collect the weeds and then we're going to take this out to the goats and hopefully they enjoy it all right two of the cages down and getting ready to start on the third one but girls are taking off without me here. We've got a wagon load of weeds for the goats. Okay, off we go. They hear us coming. want those weeds and these goats they have all the uh, green grass over here in their pasture over here this whole area here they have access to all that but they're not out there eating grass no because, because they love weeds <laughs> yeah give us all the weeds <laughs> And back we go. Are you surfing? Oh, goofball. And they're leaving me. <laughs> Abigail's losing her jacket. <laughs> oh, goodness. Did you lose something? Yeah. Got some chickens out here. Scratching around before we lose the sun. The sun is trying to set, isn't it? And we're going to have to go in and help make pizza here in a little bit. Yeah, it is yummy. Yummy. Mm. Well, we ran into uh, an issue, didn't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, what's the issue? Well, there's trees in here. There's it's trees growing in here. Because it's torn winter. <laughs> yeah, so Andrew's gonna go get us some little snips. And we're just gonna snip these off because pulling those up by the roots is not working, is it? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not working. So we'll snip these off and just keep on going. Andrew decided he wanted to try try this way instead. So Ooh. <laughs> Yay! Did you kind of enjoy that? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That one didn't go. I think oh, that one. I took out the wrong one. <laughs> I was not aiming for that one, but I hit it. Yep. There. There we go. I got some of the roots out with that one, too. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think Andrew's going to go through and use the hoe here to kind of get the, the greens. Uh -huh. Yeah, try to get some of those weeds there. And we found surprises down here. Look at that. So we had garlic growing in here, oh, two years ago. And uh, this is coming up. And girls, you said you saw a little bit more yeah, here's down here. One, two. And ones we haven't even opened up yet. So we already have the start of a garlic crop. <laughs> Duck snow, it's uh, getting to be the end of the day. <laughs> in a line, gonna go put themselves up. I love my ducks. Okay, Andrew's doing some repair work. Raised bed here, it's leaning. He's trying to fix it there. Let me see, the sun's setting, so. Let me try from this way to see if we can see better. progress. If I show from this angle, you guys can hopefully see if the sun will participate. Uh, let's see, is that any better? A lot fewer weeds. So, we did get something done today. Alright guys, we got a lot done. We're losing sunlight, but got another jet coming over. It's busy up in the sky today, guys. Yeah. You see it? Oh yeah, it's a big one too. All kinds of big ones. Yeah. Okay, so that part over there is super weedy, and Andrew's trying to get the uh, roots of those weeds kind of rustled up and taken care of, and we need to make some decisions. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we need to make some decisions on what we're going to do with this bed. We don't want to plant garlic in here only to have it be overcome by weeds again. So, what do you think? I think it's good. You think it's good? There. You're a big helper. <laughs> Chopping down trees. I'm pulling weeds. Pulling out the trees. Pulling out the weeds and the trees. So we have one more load to take to the goats. We'll go make them happy, happy again. And then I think we need to cover this bed up again um, because we do have garlic growing in it from two mm. years ago, apparently. There's only like, what, four? Four little sprouts I think but still we want to protect the four sprouts and uh, then we'll head inside and make pizza yeah. and check on Sarah okay we'll do that next <laughs> all right new day Hello. what is it baby I'm a big okay. it's okay yeah. more things going on with this garlic bed here so with all the weeds that were growing up in there you're in the dungeon. You've been put in jail. The, dum the dungeon of doom. The dungeon of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me <laughs> too. Okay, so we've decided if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right, even though it takes some extra work. So boys have been out here working on shoveling out some of this weed-infested dirt. 
and we're gonna take it down maybe six inches or so is kind of the thought and and then go ahead and put down a new base we'll put down cardboard just as a weed barrier and some oh some non composted compost so basically just lemon peels banana peels orange peels coffee grounds things that go in the compost pile but are not decomposed yet we'll throw some of that in there we'll throw some daisy manure in there some good old cow fertilizer and also um, some composted actually broken down compost add that all in there um, and just make a nice clean slate help me you're stuck <laughs> you're stuck you're trapped oh no okay so that's the plan we're gonna we've got some hard work here we'll go grab some more shovels and stuff and uh, see what we can get done because we would like to get the garlic in the ground as quickly as possible so many hands make light work so we'll get to work the duckies were just resting over here <laughs> Yeah. They're just so pretty. <laughs> Cock a doodle do. Can you speak rooster? Yeah, <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Dory likes her treats. She bites? Yeah, it bites me. She likes that grass. She's got a whole pasture of grass over there, but your grass must taste better than the others. And there's Darling. All right, so I've been over here with Samuel and Rebecca and Abigail. Anna's over there feeding apple leaves to the goats. Let me see. You can see her. She's making some goats happy over there with some apple leaves. But we've been over here going through this pile of cardboard boxes. You can pull it off, baby. And trying to sort through. These are boxes that the metal shed that came from Patio Well. We did a whole video on the construction of that. We did a uh, business collaboration with them. We've been going through these boxes to see what we could salvage, tear the tape off of and everything to use in those garlic beds over there. So yeah, see, they're just, they're ripping any, any tape off there. You're being a big helper, baby. So we've got these ready to go out there. I've already taken one load and I'm about to take this load out there too. And we'll just see how much more we need to get the uh, bottom covered. You are, I'm, you're helping me? Yeah. Or I'm helping you? I have it down. You put that in the burn barrel? Yeah. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. It's big, 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 big. It's big, 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 big. All right. New day, guys. And today it's crunch time now. We've been doing a little bit here and a little bit there on that garlic bed. And it's getting colder and colder and tomorrow it's calling for an 80 percent chance of rain so and that would put a stop to all of this so we feel like today is the day so one of the layers in the new garlic bed is going to be leaves so children are working on raking up leaves i have to be working inside today i have to get the budget done i have um skipped one time of doing the budget so it is imperative that i do it today so Children are going to work on the garlic bed, and I, would, I will touch base with them throughout the day just to see how things are going while I'm working inside. So they are going to take the camera at this point and give you little glimpses of how this whole process goes. Okay, so the first layer we're supposed to do in this is uh, leaves. So we're going to fill this whole bed here up with the leaves that the girls just collected in that... David put into the wheelbarrow. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. We'll probably need some more leaves than what we gathered, but there's plenty of leaves in the front yard, so that should not be a problem. You supposed to be talking? <laughs> you can talk. Tell them we're getting food scraps. We're getting food scraps. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> I told them. 
You did not see that. Oh, yes, we did. You know what? I'm going to zoom in, too. Look. She spilled it. How naughty. And Andrew's chopping up some wood over there. See him? I can do it, see? Really? Yeah. Did you miss that? Did I miss what? You just did it. Yeah, but you had to get super close. But you couldn't do it if you were ten feet away. Well, you missed that one piece right there. You! You also missed another piece. Stop! <laughs> okay, so we got the leaf layer on the um, raised bed. So, and the next layer called for was unfinished compost. So this is the stuff on the top of the compost pile that's not good rich dirt. I don't know how well you can see, but this is just the unfinished stuff. And the finished stuff, well, it's kind of buried underneath some weeds that came up in it. But the stuff that we've been putting our fresh compost in there um, every morning, David does that. And so I took the top layer off, and it's full of everything under the sun. We've got dead flowers. Oh, there's some buggies. Yeah, avocado tops. There's an avocado pit. Um, these white things, that was a rotten squash. Orange peels. Onion skins. Dog hair. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. So this is the unfinished, uncomposted compost. If that made any sense. So we're going to go put this on the raised bed now. So this, we went ahead and spread the unfinished compost all on this bed. So it's a lot more colorful now. That's for sure. You can see where the dog hair ended up. But now we have to go get unfinished uh, daisies uh, manure right now. Unfinished. But not super fresh. So we're gonna go out to the cow shed and find some of that. Enjoyable, isn't it? And smelly. And smelly. So David and I got Daisy's manure and we now have to take this lovely big pile of stinking mess and scatter it all over that. So, the most aromatic of the layers is now complete. It's a little splotchy, but I can see where it's at. It's all the dark stuff. Ew, terrible. But <laughs> now we get to put down cardboard and then wet it all. It's just like, like a puzzle, trying to make sure we got everything covered. Let's see, maybe right there, David, in that little spot. Okay, I think that looks good. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. What was that for? There we go. Resourceful. Now, you get to wet it all. <laughs> what? Wet it down really good.
Please don't get my jacket wet sitting over there. There we go. Okay, so this is all nice and soggy. Uh, I looked at our instructions. We were actually supposed to wet it before we put the cardboard on and then wet it again. So I hope that's okay. But now we're gonna go get um, some dirt from the dirt pile and put it all on top of this. I hope we didn't make it too full. <laughs> this will be very, very full, I think, by the time we're done with it. But we need to go dig up a bunch of dirt and then put that on top of the cardboard. Are you gonna jump? Ah! You having fun? <laughs> Do you like jumping with Abigail? <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca. Ah! What? Is your hair frizzy? Yeah. Is it frizzy? Uh, Abigail. Ah! <laughs> oh, careful there. <laughs> Okay, so we got a good layer of just regular dirt, uncomposted, in there. David's going to wet it down for us. Want to go ahead and go? He's going to get it nice and soaked. We're going to have a rain tomorrow, so he doesn't need to like get it all like puddly and stuff. But just a good soaking, get it nice and wet, and then we're going to put a layer of compost on top of that. Okay, so we're starting to put the compost layer onto our wet dirt. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between the compost and the dirt. Look how dark that is. That's some good dirt. It's just beautiful. It's got a bit of wood chips mixed in there. A bit of hay. That's some good dirt. Okay, so just to show you guys the difference. This here is unfinished compost. There is stuff all in it. This stuff has not broken down and um, composted basically. So it's just raw. But over here, this is composted stuff. See, it's actually dirt. And that's the difference. We have finished the bed. Well, it needs a little bit of watering. But it's now ready to get the garlic in. So I'm going to go do some math, see how much garlic we need. And then we're going to fill up this bed. Okay, so we did the math. We can fit over 1,600 uh, cloves of garlic in that bed. So I'm going through my garlics. I have some that were given me at the meet and greet um, that I'm going to be planting. I have my hardnecks here that I'm going through. And I've got to trim off my best looking bulbs on my soft neck, which I braided. I love braiding the soft neck. It's so easy and it turns out so pretty. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm thinking I ought to have maybe 40-ish cloves, give or take a little bit, off of the meet and greet garlic. So I'm thinking I ought to do uh, roughly maybe 700-ish worth of these, as well as these to kind of make the number as close to 1600 as possible. But, I'm doing a little garlic math. 
So yeah, I'm going through, I'm picking out my best looking bulbs. So let me see, like I don't want to pick the small ones. I want to pick more of these bigger ones because those are going to have, uh, I, I, is it weird to say good genetics? I know we're talking about garlic here, but there, there's a big one. I don't want to pick any with any imperfections because I want to keep the good pretty ones. Isn't that beautiful? This is the hard neck here. That's why it's not braided. You cannot bend that. Well, this, you can move it around all you want. I'm going to take bulbs like this off of the soft neck because they're good and big. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I'm getting ready to process the garlic. Um, I got that really dirty outer layer off. Now the trick is you want to keep as much of the skin on it as possible because that protects it from rotting. So let me see if I can do this one-handed or maybe I can set it up there. Okay. So I'm going to want to take this and peel just a little bit. Not a whole lot. As soon as I get to that protective layer, I want to stop. Because I last thing I want is that to come off. Okay, so if you look, there we go. I want that. So I'm gonna take this. Yeah, if I have some that I accidentally peel that one layer off, I gotta take that inside and we gotta eat it later. So I'm just gonna take one. Let me see if I can pop it off. Hard necks are a little harder to get off, I think, personally, than soft necks. Now, I'm a soft neck girl, so I like my soft neck. So I might be biased. So don't tell these poor guys. Let me see, hold on. I'm like cradling the camera. Right now, let me see. Okay, so there we go, there we go. So I want to keep as much on as possible. There, that looks really good. That right there, oh, here focusing on that. Okay, there we go. That right there. Looks really good. So I want to try to get them all to look like that. I don't know why the dogs are barking. Maybe some deer. This is the hard neck. And it's stubborn. So I'm getting... About, oh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm getting about, I got nine off of this one, so that's a little less. Oh, wait, hold on, there's four in that one. Okay, I did, I did get ten off of these. So, there we go. I was right. Okay. So I'm going to take my clothes. And I want to put them in with this end down. The end that was sticking to the base of the clove. I want to stick it into my hole. Nice and deep. And then I'll cover that up. I want to put them in here. Well, okay, you'd have to know the size of a garlic clove. I want to be able... I'm going to put, put these in here closer so I can get more in. Uh, even though that makes a whole bunch. I'm thinking of maybe um, selling some to our local homestead ladies and stuff this um, next year. And um, so I'm doing about clove and a clove, and they'll have a bit of a space between them. Um, so I think I can get about 12, 10 to 12 in one row in the down. I have to go in and put the cages back up because the chickens and the ducks tried to get in here. And I didn't want that. So, I'm working on this bed, so they're not over, over here. But I'm getting that going. So, getting in here. This is the meet and greet garlic. Putting it in there. That's fine. And I got brothers and daddy working on processing the rest of the garlic. While I'm getting these planted in. 
Okay, guys, it is now three weeks, three weeks already since the garlic was planted. And I'm gonna take y'all out here with me and we are going to see what we have. Wait on me, mama. Where's she at? There she is. <laughs> Wait on me, mama. Look, where's she at? There she is. Say hi. hi. <laughs> okay, let's go see the garlic. Yes. Okay. Oh, I see garlic. Okay. I did one. You did that one? Yeah. You helped with that one? Let me turn the camera around, guys. All right, so here's the garlic beds, and I don't really see anything in those, but here on the end. Okay, let me get down in there. Can you guys see the green? Oh, let me lift. There's one right there. There is one right there. Let's lift this up, baby. You see the green in there. Okay, so here it is, the middle of December, and... Sarah's telling me the ones that came up here first, you can go ahead and let it back down, baby, are the ones that we received at the meet and greet from Miss Kate. She came to the meet and greet. Yes, Daisy, I hear you. That <laughs> cow. Miss Kate came to the meet and greet and she brought us some garlic from her garden. And that's what's planted here in the very front. And Sarah has marked it with a little, oh, a little uh, tag there. I'm so excited, guys. And what'll I'll happen? Get out. No, we don't pull it out until about July. Oh. So this will grow well all winter long. I'll it actually stays it green. Um, it does good in the cold. So it'll grow in here. And the plan is to harvest it in July. <laughs> Bear's coming to see you. <laughs> you gonna love on him? Yeah. Yeah, Bear is a good boy. Yeah. You good old boy. <laughs> yes. Big boy. He's a big boy. Yeah. Baba a little boy. Baba a Pepper's a little boy and Bear is a big boy. <laughs> and I see a, a, a big boy. Yes. A little big boy. Lady's a girl. <laughs> yeah, a baba girl. <laughs> He would sit here and let us love on him all day long. He loves getting loved He does. On. He loves getting loved on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it coming along with us on repairing the garlic bed and planting it and all the things. So hopefully we'll be able to give you all updates um, just throughout the season as things grow and then eventually when we harvest it in the summertime. So if you did like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. And if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead.